My name's Lucy Newsom. I'm a teacher at Millicent North School. Um, I reviewed the Year 5 unit, which is called Factors That Shape the Human and Environmental Characteristics of Places. I loved it. I thought it was really interactive and engaging. I thought there was a lot of sort of project-based learning, which I know is really effective in the older years as well. So I thought it was really good. Could definitely use it in the classroom. I think it'll allow me to teach multiple areas of the curriculum in an engaging way. I liked how it started back with the Aboriginal people and then it drilled right down to present, so it made it quite local and relevant, which I think is really important to keep kids engaged. Probably a lot of the content I wasn't that aware of, just because it drilled into lots of different farming regions around Australia and how the climate affected what was farmed there. I was quite naive, I guess, coming from the city so and knowing nothing about it. But, yeah, and having that, having such a prescriptive unit written for you and aiding me with all of that information, I think gives me more confidence in teaching it to the kids rather than coming to it blind and trying to teach them about something I know nothing about. I really like the conceptual mapping. So all the, they give you a lot of black line masters and sheets to use that aren't just worksheets, but they're sort of mapping tools. So you give the kids the information and the data and they interpret it that the way they choose to, which I really like that sort of letting the students have control over their learning. It was a lot of group work and presentations allowing the kids to choose again how they presented something, so whether they did a PowerPoint or a poster or just giving them that choice, which I think, yeah, the older kids just really, really like. And that's the other thing, rather than just the lesson notes, there's lots of links and websites and other places that we were directed to, so you can pick and choose what you use and you don't have to spend time searching the internet to find things. I'm Elizabeth Stuckey, I work at Mount Bear Primary School teaching Year 4 Fives. I grew up on a farm but I haven't actually taught agriculture in the classroom before. Teacher notes section of the unit was particularly useful. It gave lots of information and background um, knowledge that the teacher would need to have to be able to teach the unit and that also gave them lots of ideas for where to go and get information from so websites and things like that. I like the way that it crossed over into lots of different curriculum areas so I like that it, there was lots of maths involved and history and geography. Um, also had some Aboriginal perspectives and sustainability as well. One of the main challenges with the Australian curriculum is trying to incorporate all of the different subject areas which is why a unit like this is great because it does that for you. Lots of our children, although they come from a rural area, aren't actually from a farm so this is, provides great information for them and hands-on activities that allows them to get this information. I think it works really well with um, our, our garden to kitchen program and the area that we live in. The children are involved in growing the ve their vegetables and fruits and they um, so it gives them hands-on experience of how we go about that and what farmers might experience and the seasons and weather and things like that that affect the growing of the vegetables. So with this unit we're taking their learning and looking at it on a much larger scale. Mm -hmm.